As the stain gets older, uh, the likelihood of getting conclusive results becomes less and less. The factors that we're looking at are biological in nature, and unless they are stored in a proper condition, will eventually rot and be untestable. At what point, uh, for example, would you be unable to successfully conduct a PGM subtype test? Booster ignition and uh, Like I said, it varies depending on the conditions. I, I have not been able to detect PGM on a stain that was picked up out at a scene as short as a week later. Uh, in that particular case, the stain was uh, subjected to direct sunlight on the pavement for uh, in excess of 24 hours, I believe. And I have also, on the converse side of that, successfully gotten PGM on stains that were, you know, five to six months old, but had been collected uh, fairly quickly and then stored frozen. The engines on both of the, you know, put on so the, the, third <coughs> the promptness with which the uh, samples are collected and how they are stored can have a significant impact uh, on these tests. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, now, you were not able to get conclusive results uh, uh, with respect to item 49 on all of the tests that you conducted, were you? That's correct. All right. Could you explain uh, which uh, of the tests you conducted uh, gave you inconclusive results? I'm going to refer to my report, copy of my report. Okay, in relation to uh, item number 49. Columbia, go and throttle up. I got no activity for the GLOW test or the GLOW enzyme. Right, the GLOW was uh, was part of the group one Eight miles. test that you did? Yes, that's correct. What would account for that, that you uh, would not get uh, uh, any results on the, on the GLOW, on the, uh, the uh, group one test? The most likely answer is that some degradation of the sample had occurred. The uh, GLOW or GLO enzyme degrades very rapidly, and we probably get less or fewer conclusive results from that one enzyme than from any of the others. Uh, does the, the fact that you get inconclusive results uh, on the group one test um, in any way raise doubts as to the results you get on a PGM subtype test? What do you mean as far as uh I'm assuming at this point you'd be talking about the PGM result that is derived during the course of the group one testing. And inconclusive merely means that there's some question about that particular 